impulse has two versions to its equation. Um, impulse given weird letter J is force times time or change of momentum. Looking at this question, I know more about the forces and times to start off, so that's the version of impulse that I'll use. Oops. J for impulse is equal to force multiplied by time. So these people pushing the bobsled, they push for, they push with 1,100 newtons for 2.5 seconds. That works out to an impulse of 2750, and it's got these funny units of newtons times seconds. The value of that number, again, if we worked a lot with impulse, maybe that would tell us something or mean something, but that tells us uh, its ability to change the momentum. If we know the mass, then we can do something with that. J is also change in momentum, and we know that it's the 2750 number. Change in momentum is mv2 minus mv1. The mass isn't changing again, so a common mass. The way this one's worded, it started from rest, and it got pushed to some final speed. So this one is 350 for the mass. I don't know how fast it got to, but it started from rest, so a zero for the initial momentum equals 2750. Dividing by 350, we get a final speed of, within rounding, I'm gonna call it 7.9 meters per second. By the magic of the metric system, impulses in newtons times seconds or is equivalent to momentum units of kilograms times meters per second, uh, so we end up with a speed in meters per second. If we had jumped straight to part two, you could probably tackle that with just using F net equals MA. Assume that the 1100 is the only force, so that's your F net. We use that with the M to get the A, then do some kinematics, and you could get the V2. If you get comfortable with impulse, in questions like this, it's actually a little bit shorter. Um, kind of combined steps. It takes away chances to make mistakes.